Hello Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 9th of October. Each year Jupiter makes a transition into a new zodiac sign and this year that zodiac sign is yours and this is going to happen on Wednesday. Jupiter is about growth, it's about optimism, it's about belief, it's about expansion and traditionally in astrology about good fortune. When it moves into our own zodiac sign, it's a chance to renew, to refresh, to rejuvenate, or to infuse the things that are really important to us with greater vitality and thrust. But it also can be a time of new beginnings. And over the next year, this is the opportunity that you're handed. But with Jupiter, we can't sit back and wait for things to come to us. We need to be proactive. And one of your great strengths is the fact that you can actually be very penetrating in the way you think about life or analyse situations. And that helps you to sort the wheat from the chaff and makes you very shrewd. But sometimes it perhaps can make you a little bit pessimistic about what's possible and even sceptical. And perhaps what Jupiter is going to ask you to do is challenge that part of your nature. And yet, ironically, this week, you may feel pretty sceptical at times because the sun in the first half of this week is being challenged by your modern ruler of Pluto. Now, Pluto is all about secrets. It's about power. It's about, at the moment and since 2008, the way you think and also the way you communicate. And there could be an intense conversation in the first half of this week where some secrets could come into the open. Or perhaps you're going to tell someone how you really feel when you've been keeping these feelings very much to yourself. Conversely, someone else could confront you with a side of your nature that you're less conscious of. In the second half of this week, the moon, the quarter moon, is in Cancer and therefore in the opposite location from that of Pluto. So I think it's possible that there could be something that you would ordinarily just turn the other cheek around, could just get under your skin a little bit later in this week. But try to keep the faith, because actually Venus and Mars are in very sociable locations for you, and in Venus's case, for most of the week. Now those, that sociability can see you linking up with people, but there is still a general theme about quality over quantity. And perhaps that's what that challenge is in the first half of this week. You may be realising that even though I'm telling you about Jupiter, you need to be more positive, there may be someone you need to actually get out of your situation who's actually not very good for you. Or perhaps you're realising the reality of the politics around a colleague or a group that you're involved with, and that's something that you may need to digest carefully. However, by the end of this week, Venus, the planet of love, does relocate into the sign of Libra, which is what it rules. Now for you, for the following 28 days, she's therefore going to be stirring up a very psychological part of the way you love and the way you feel around very close alliances. It's possible during that time, and especially if you're footloose and fancy three, that someone you used to be connected to could come back into your situation, an old flame, and how so, quite powerfully as well. Now, it could be that you're going to check out what they're up to on social media, or bump into them in the street. It could be more random rather than anything calculated. Or perhaps you still have some kind of link to someone, and that contact can increase. Conversely, it may be that in an existing relationship, you're set to think about it a lot more. And the Sun's clash with both the Moon and Pluto this week suggests that if there are any issues that have been rumbling around in the depths that are not making you very happy, maybe you do need to embrace them. Now where Jupiter fits into all of this is that it is giving you a way forwards, but maybe you do need to deal with some legacy issues in the here and now. So a lot of astrologers are going to be flagging up the wonder of Jupiter, and quite rightly. But I do think there are some other sensitive strands that you will need to just be conscious of this week. Dealing with, being aware of things that are not working so well, and particularly around trust, 
and sincerity in any close relationship. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three-card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.